the indie artist. We, I really believe we're creating an environment here where it's becoming extremely safe for the environment, uh, for, for the um, indie artist to shine their light, to not be judged, to not be told what they need to record. Okay? We just want their soulful music and we'll promote it. That's the first thing we want to do. We want it to engage the music lovers, engage them at a whole different level. And it, it's going to be really simple. It's going to be three steps one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, over and over again to create a wave of energy that can be monetized at a whole different level. It's, it's simple. It's not simple to put it together behind the scene, but it's like McDonald's, right? Think of McDonald's, the simplicity of McDonald's now, right? 300% attrition rate, unskilled, uh, unskilled staff, high school kids, mostly, most, most of the employees, 300% uh, attrition rate, and they're able to sustain profits, and um, you know they don't have professional managers because they're so systemized. So, ha, ah, key word, write it down, systemize. Systemize your business, because you know what? As an indie artist, <laughs> you're behind your computer, right? You get up in the morning and you no longer have the marketing power that the record labels used to offer to the you know, artists under contract. And, um, and, and you're wondering, where am I gonna go? What am I gonna do today? And same of the same creates more of the same. I know some of you, some of the indie artists are extremely active, extremely active in Facebook. My question is, is it generating revenues? You know, let's get brutally honest. In most cases, it's not. You know, it's not. So we're going to talk about triad mix. What's so unique about the triad mix? And, and then you can start understanding some of the philosophies behind the logo. All right? So let me do that. Let me, um, let me flash the logo on the screen here. I want to explain the logo from a marketing perspective and also from a spiritual perspective, the depth of this logo. So you know where we're going with this, and then we're going to play some more music. Now, these are little people, three little people there on that, on that logo, all right? And they represent several things. Number one, they represent the indie artist, the music lover, number two, and number three, the promoter. All right. So an indie artist nowadays has to become, in most cases, their own promoter, right? Because it's expensive to hire people. Um, they're also music lovers. So now the energy of what used to be um, delegated energy, like promotion and you know finding the fan base and um, you know, in recording your own artist. I mean, now you're, you're, the indie artist is becoming three individuals in one. So triad. The entire universe operates on a triad, by the way. I want you to think about it. You know, how often have you heard the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit? You got a father, you got a mother, you got a child. Everything is in triad. You look at a tree, trunk, uh, the root, the trunk, you've got the leaves, branches. You look at your, um, let me do this. Give me a second here. If you, if you, if you look at your finger, Okay, if you look at your finger, it's a triad. See, three parts. If you look at your arm, look, you got the wrist, one moving part, there's another part, and up here, there's another part. That's a triad. If you look at your body, you got the head, you got the torso, and you got the extremity. You look at the, di the digestive system, same thing. Everything operates in triad. So, ah, that's very powerful, by the way, when you can bring three people together um, into a triad. Oh, the energy is exponential. All right. Now, You'll notice that little green arc at the bottom of the triad, right? That represents the humanitarian project that we're going to get involved in. We're going to, we're going to call the co-founder of an amazing corporation in Canada to tell you more about it throughout the show. All right, we'll do that a little later on the show. But there's a, 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 a humanitarian project that we are going to contribute to. We, and hopefully... You'll subscribe to it, you know, just emotionally, spiritually, because we're not only going to change lives, we're going to be saving lives throughout the entire planet. Again, you'll explain that on our Skype video call a little later in the show. All right, so now triad, triad, you, you understand the spiritual side, it, it, three energies, right? You've got the conscious, unconscious, mind, creative, subconscious, everything is a triad. Now, from a, from a marketing perspective about the music, the triad mix, that's where I get so excited too. I hope you do. Traditionally, a musician records an album. 
And then they release MP3s nowadays and sell singles, right? And then we'll talk about that in, in more depth a little later about <laughs> the, the pathetic revenue model that's currently available. And we're going to hopefully, hey, what if we did things differently and created new results, right? So you, usually they, they put out an album, and I question why does an artist so, so uh, fanatical about having to put out an entire album with 10 to 12 tracks? Again, we'll talk about that. Um, and then they, they put out a single, and they put out an MP3. And the question is, how well is that working so far? You know, and my question is, value creation for the music lover. Let's do something different, right? Why not have three artists on an MP3? And here's the reason why, independent artists. You'll be excited about this, I hope. I want you to think about this. Now, look at the logo again, and just pretend that you're the far left figurine. You're artist A. The person in the middle is artist B and artist C. For example, we did a triad mix, right? We did a triad mix a moment ago. Let me reach for my little card. We were featuring Ava Lemert, Bob Baldwin, and Joyce Cooling. All right. I want you to think about the triad mix floating in cyberspace, like on YouTube. All right? Totally tagged with your photo, with your URL to your website. What do you think is going to happen when that triad mix is put into the cyber world? And we, 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 um, we create awareness for the indie artist that, hey, you're on that triad mix. Well, artist B is going to promote it on his Facebook. He's going to put it on his YouTube channel. This instantaneously, and, and so is artist C going to do the same. So you being artist A gets double, triple the exposure. You're promoting it because you're on it, but now you've got two other artists who are promoting the same triad mix creating tremendous exposure for your music. See, does that make sense? Does that make more sense than just trying to self-promote your own album? No, it's called collaborative marketing. It doesn't take any more energy than what you're already doing. It just, ah, what if we did things differently? Is this starting to make a little sense? All right, so that's what's cutting edge here in the marketing. The triad mix, the way we present the music, the way it's you know, I've got a lot of comments over the years about the way I mix music. Well, I came up with the idea of triad mix. And let's promote three musicians. So more marketing power, more exposure, more people. And we mix up the genre of music often in these triad mix. So guess what? The person who never, you know, jazz, smooth jazz, funky jazz. The person who never was really into funky jazz, but was more into soul and funk, all of a sudden is discovering, oh, wow, funky jazz is just like funk. I mean, I, oh, wow, I like this artist now. See, we're expanding. We're expanding, creating more awareness, reaching more people instead of being boxed into one genre of music. So that's why we're mixing it up with jazz, funky jazz, soul, R&B, dance, electronica, and soulful hip-hop because I can mix it. So it's more entertaining, more value, one MP3 ultimately now. I need to expand upon that a little bit and make you aware that these are not going to be downloadable. They're only going to be streaming, creating tremendous marketing power. We're going to put this in 200 video search engine. And so what you need to understand about search engines is that they feed off video, not off MP3. I read some report about a year ago that something like 65% of the content being viewed on the internet today is video based. Hello? So why are you just putting out your MP3, your audio? The search engines are not picking it up. So the triad mix are going to be post-produced in a video, right? And they're going to be put through the search engine, creating tremendous exposure for your music and who you are. All right? That's what's different. So what if we did things differently? Could we produce different results? You've got to believe it, right? It's all, all about thinking. It's thinking, intention, action that creates different results. More of the same is more of the same. So why would you send, well, well, no, I'm, I'm gonna stop right there. I'm gonna stop right there, all right? Because I'll keep the, some of the conversation for a little later. Time for more music, but good food for thought, don't you think? Huh? I hope so. I'm here to expand you, expand myself. You're giving me that opportunity. Thank you so much, because the truth is, we need to be expanded, right? All right, queuing up the music. 
queuing up the music. This one is, oh, I love this music. I love this group. Another Costa Rican group, four-time Grammy Award winning, Ed Atus is going to spearhead Triad Mix 42, if uh, my computer will collaborate, yes. And uh, we're going to hear some new music, a new mix by Paul Hardcastle, who's just sent it to me 48 hours ago. This is incredible, truly incredible. And we're going to hear from I, an artist I just discovered. I'm going to refer to him as Bobby, um, because I can't really pronounce his last name properly. I can, but Bobby is easier. And uh, in fact, Bobby will be calling him um, right after this mix. So Bobby in Macedonia, stand by because um, I plan to be calling you for uh, an introduction to the world because I didn't know anything about you till about a month ago and I just absolutely love his music. So again, we're going to promote the music, all right? And, and I, I need to reiterate, it's about the people. Yes, the music promote. When we created the logo, just one last thing on the logo. When I created the logo, people say, well, you're not, putting, you're not putting musical notes on there. You're not putting musicians on there. And I said, ah, I know, but you need to understand where we're going with this. You know, yes, it's, it's the music, but the music by itself, is, that's not the deal for me. It's always about the people behind the music. It's the individual. There's a human being behind that music. So we want to promote the music, promote the music, but we want to promote the artist, you see? Are you with me? Does that make sense? All right, so that's why that logo is, um, is going to hopefully um, represent exactly what we're creating here. You know, a joyful, soulful environment where artists can be themselves. Nobody's going to tell them how to record and play their music. We like it. We're just going to play it. We're not going to tell you how to record your next MP3. If we love you as a human being, we're going to promote your music. All right, it's about the people. So I'm excited about that. I'm extremely excited about that. Okay, so without further ado, triad mix number 42 with the music of Editus, Paul Hardcastle, and Bobby. And I'll be back in 14 minutes. <laughs> 